to the channel Fragrance Journey. Hopefully everybody's having a blessed day. It's Friday, so every, hopefully everybody has a blessed weekend. Just got done cutting the grass, cutting the bushes. And here in Tennessee, Cardova, Tennessee, it's extremely hot. But I got a fragrance in today. I had a sample of it, and it really excited me, and it made me want to do a review. No matter how tired I was, I said I have to do a review on this one. And it's from the house of Buford, London, one that I've never spoke of, and it's Iron Duke. So every once in a while, I've gotten a fragrance, a niche fragrance, that tells a story. And it's, in the fragrance, it explains the story. And you can, basically with the notes and the smell of the fragrance, get that story. And that's what I love about niche perfumer. It's just, you know, some people say, well, why niche? I just like designer oil. You know, you got your other people that say only niche and not designer. I like both, but I do like the uniqueness of niche perfumery and that some fragrances actually tell a story. And that just blew my mind. That just blows my mind to think that a fragrance can do that. This fragrance is supposed to be a tribute to Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington from 1769 to 1852. Uh, the perfumer is Julia Dunkley. The notes on this one are, check this out, sweet snuff tobacco, metal, alcohol, animalic notes, sandal soap, leather, gunpowder, and hay. If you hear those notes, the first thing I thought of was a battle. It was like a battle of people riding horses and shooting guns. They've got snuff tobacco in their mouth. They're spitting. You've got leather. You've got saddle soap. I mean, just a wonderful, and I won't say masterpiece because I hate using the word masterpiece but this is one of the best fragrances that I've smelled so far because I'm really into the darker leather, leather animalic type fragrances, but this also tells a story. You also get something out of this fragrance. This fragrance to me explains something and that just, that just blew my mind. It's, hmm, this is my, of my top five, purchases this is up there this is a this is in my top five at the end of the year i will definitely do a a uh, top five purchases fragrance or something like that but this is this is amazing um just amazing just excites me so much gets me so hyped up um definitely can't wait to wear this one i've been wearing it around the house wearing my sample i'm gonna make another order for a male for Chini. Maybe tonight, and I'm going to see if Jana will probably send me a couple of samples of this. Uh, if she can, so I can kind of use this up instead of using up my 50 mil. Because I ain't sprayed my 50 mil yet. I wish this came in 100 mil, but it'll be 300 bucks. Probably for 100 mil, but really good juice. Not mass appealing. Not one that everyone's going to like. But if you like fragrances that tell stories, you'll definitely like this one. You definitely have to like a darker, leather, leather. I keep saying leathier, darker leather type fragrance uh, with some different type notes. It's not your regular tobacco. It has a snuff tobacco, so that's a lot different. But I also get some boozy aspects to this too. Uh, so top notch juice. Shout out to Beautiful London. Uh, this is great. I would like to smell some different offerings from the house. I smell. Uh, Cor Noir or Cor de Noir or something like that. It was like a smoky or leather fragrance. I definitely need to give that some time to uh, weigh on me for a little bit and see if I like that enough to purchase a full bottle. Um, but if you've gotten your nose on Iron Duke, um, please leave a comment down below. The performance on this is crazy. It's going to last forever. You don't need a lot of sprays. Definitely better in the winter time, but as I say, wear your juices when you want. Um, but if you smell this, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me if you like it. Tell me if you dislike it. Maybe we can get a conversation started about this one. But this is fire. To me, this is fire. This is the most masculine fragrance. Leather Oud, this kicks Leather Oud's ass. Kicks it out the door. And Leather Oud gets like fecal like. This is like straight up animalic with leather, gunpowder, just fire. Fire juice. Fire juice, I'm telling you. This right here is fire. I'm definitely, definitely standing by this juice right here. So if you can't like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. 
If you can't hit the bell button, you'll know when I drop my next video. I should have a bunch of reviews coming up soon. I got juices coming in, a uh, bunch of mail for chinis, all kind of stuff. Uh, re in, I got another, I think, uh, Atelier de Source that's coming in soon. So, um, should be a bunch of reviews coming up. I'm gonna try to get my wife, talk my wife into coming on the channel. Hopefully, she will. That'll help the channel out a little bit. But I definitely appreciate all the support. And uh, if you woke up today, you're definitely winning. And other than that, I'm out. Peace.